Raise here another achievement guide for Remnant from the Ashes. We'll be going to an achievement called Fire the Sky for defeating Singe. Now this is what the map's going to look like in this little area. And you're going to be having the objective to find the Keeper of the Labyrinth. So you'll be coming down this little hallway down here. Once you progress far enough after meeting the Root Mother, which isn't terribly too far after this. You should be about this far on the trait page. Once you get all these automatically, you get the Mother's Blessing. So like I said, it's not too far after you meet the Mother. You'll be going to the maps and you'll come to this area and you'll see the little fog. On the wall again so once you go into this area you'll know you're going through a boss fight so once you enter in here you will fight in this dragon like thing and it's got some pretty basic attacks it will be shooting fireballs at you for one you'll fly in the air and kind of breathe like a wave of fire and you have a flamethrower which is pretty OP so make sure that you see when he goes from side to side of the head swipe you're gonna know he's gonna be doing a little flamethrower from side to side and basically that entire area from good range is gonna be bad and you can still get hit from your eyes you hit there through the wall so be very very careful and mindful of where you're at and who he's targeting now the entire time you're gonna have minions like any other boss fight in this game so I suggest that you take them as fast as you can the longer you wait to take them out the more they're gonna be on top of you so make sure when you see them coming at you if you're playing by yourself or with the partner make sure you guys both focus on the little minions to take them out first now, it's a really good idea to hopefully get someone to aggro him if you can, and the other person to get off damage while the other person is typically dodging and shooting whenever they get the chance. This fight is pretty difficult. It might take you a few tries to get used to it because everything's coming at you once and there's fire everywhere, especially you get these guys who just take a lot of damage. These little fire roots. I don't know what they're called, but they're OP. To, they hurt you pretty bad too, so let's be mindful of them come at you when you're trying to focus on the boss. Definitely not going to be easy once you're being targeted by the boss as well. Make sure you look around on the ground for ammo as well. Ammo will be scarce since you are shooting the entire time. Depending upon if you are meleeing the minions or not, you'll be able to save some ammo there. If you can get them stunned, but I wouldn't recommend obviously doing the ones on fire. So make sure you are mindful of your ammo at all times. Make sure you use your mods. If you have some mods, use those as well. They'll help you out anyway. So make sure you're using them as well. So basically, just keep focusing on him and eventually he'll fall. Make sure you just keep an eye on his moves and you'll be able to learn them pretty quickly. Like I said, there's only like three or four different moves. He'll fly in the air at one point once he gets less than half or so because he hasn't done it yet. But he does keep doing the fireball spits and the little flamethrower thing from side to side. Now here's the one he goes in the air. He'll do a little bit of slam. Make sure you're obviously not near that. So anytime you see him go up in the air, you might want to run away from him a little bit just in case you don't know what's coming because he could do the jump slam or he could do a nice big fire breath while he's in the air. Make sure you, like I said, just keep paying attention. Keep pulling down. It'll take you a few tries to get the power down. He does like this little bright ram charge here once in a while too. And there he gets on his hind legs as well and does a nice little big air of effect right there. Didn't quite get to see the entire thing from the screen, so I'm trying to climb over the wall, which is always fun to keep spamming the A button, which is also a roll. Thank you for that gunfire. Anyway. So, just make sure you just keep a distance from them once you're being targeted, because now I'll be targeted right here. You can see that flamethrower breath has pretty good air effect. So once you're being targeted, keep a safe distance. Even that, as, far, as you can see, as far away I was in the map, that still did damage to me. So once you're being targeted, just be careful and mindful of where you're at. There's fire everywhere, and you see the oil on the ground. If you see the oil stains on the ground that aren't on fire yet, try to not go near them when he's targeting you, because they will be set on fire like the rest of them, which will cause more areas for you to dodge and to be mindful of. So just be careful of that as well. So keep focusing on the minions the entire time, and when you can, like I said, just keep shooting them. It's going to be a little bit easier with the partner, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure the difficulty increases, and also the little minions spawn is going to be more to thwart you and your partner for having to be able to have two people at once. Now once in a while, you will be able to kind of stagger him and stun him. You'll see that throughout the game, the, even the little minions, the bigger heavy guys specials, they also do the same thing, that they will be staggered. One's take enough damage at one point. So that's a good thing, so be mindful of them being staggered, that you can actually just make damage on them without them to attack you. Now, this is about it for the guide. Like I said, just be mindful of the jump attacks and him being in the air and learn his moves and you shouldn't have a problem. Thanks guys for watching, and also, if you do end up being down like you see me here, and if your partner kills him, you will get the achievement. But it's also with the achievements in this game, if you haven't known by now, that your partner will not get in this toilet achievements except for you and the host. That's it. The host gets the achievements, the partner doesn't, which is really stupid if you ask me. That being said, that'll wrap up the video guide. Thanks for watching again.
and make sure you like and subscribe and i'll catch you later from next remnant achievement guide